Good morning, guys. I am going to jump right into the video today. I wanted to get lunch made for everybody before I kind of started on everything. It just seems to be very helpful if everybody has food in their bellies and then I don't have to stop 500 times to reheat stuff. So I ended up making a yogurt parfait for myself for lunch and then I just heated up leftovers for Dalton and Day. But my dad actually came to stay over the weekend. Um, he lives, if you are new here, he lives three hours down south. So whenever we make trips, it's just easier to do um, kind of an overnight. So we kind of alternate. He, it was his kind of turn to come up and see us. And then we will be going to see him here in a couple weekends. So that was fun. We did some clothes shopping and school clothes shopping, shoe shopping, and we had a movie night. So I ended up blowing up the air mattress for day to sleep in the living room, which she loved. And then my dad stays in her bedroom because she has the big queen size bed. So that was a fun weekend, but now it is time to get some outdoor stuff done. Brett is actually selling his truck, which by the time this video is out, he has already sold it to a buddy so that is kind of bittersweet but we had some yard work to get done there were these I'm not sure exactly what they're called but these big bushes I like that they kind of cover up the house a little bit we need to repaint our farmhouse so bad so these bushes were kind of covering up some of the spots on the outside of the house but they were just so overgrown and needed to be pulled out anyways so Brett helped me with that and then we just got some other um, like little branches and stuff picked up around the house and then I ended up dragging them to the burn pile. So I started mowing the other day, a couple days before this, but I noticed that it was really bumpy. And I know our yard has a lot of like bumps and hilly things in it, hilly things. <laughs> our yard has a lot of bumps in it. And so when I mow, it's kind of a pain. Well, it was extra bumpy this time. So I texted Brett and I'm like, hey, I noticed that it's extra bumpy. I don't know if something's wrong with the lawnmower or if we need to take a big roller and like literally roll the yard. Um, because I guess that's a thing and he came home and he's like babe You have a flat tire on the lawnmower. So apparently I mowed the whole yard with a flat tire <laughs> Whoops Brett and I took a little four-wheeler ride down the road from our house and as we were coming upon this turn, we never really go this way, but for whatever reason, Brett decided to go this way. And as we were coming upon this turn, we noticed that there was one guy and girl on a motorcycle that was parked on the road and then another guy that was kind of in the grass along where the corn is. And so as we were passing, we realized the situation that the guy in the grass had wrecked his motorcycle. He had grass stains and everything on his shirt, grass all in his helmet. And so they were from out of town. So Brett went back home, grabbed his trailer, and then gave this guy a ride home. But it was just very ironic that we came you know, across them because we never go that way. It was just kind of like meant to be. So that was interesting that day. But once I got back home, I decided to make a breakfast skillet. So basically you just take ground sausage, brown it to your liking, and then you take a bag of hash browns. I use the whole bag because we go through a lot of the hash browns. I end up putting one bag of hash browns on two separate baking sheets. I drizzle a little bit of oil over it and then I season it and stir it up. So I usually put the oven to 425. I put the hash browns in the oven for about 15 minutes, 
take them out, stir it a little bit because the edges around the baking sheet will get a little bit more done. So I mix it all up and then put it back in the oven for about 12 minutes and then they should be just about done. So while the hash browns are cooking, I ended up grabbing one of these little packets of Pioneer Biscuit Gravy Mix. The directions are very simple and you cannot mess it up. So anytime I make biscuits and gravy, that is the little packet of gravy mix that I use. And so now that the gravy's done, I'm taking the hash browns back out of the oven, mixing them, stirring them, and then putting them back in the oven for the rest of the 12 minutes. And then once they are out, sorry if you can hear that loud truck outside. Um, once they are out completely, I just put a little bit more, just regular salt on top, and then the hash browns are totally done. So in the meantime, while the hash browns are finishing up, I am getting everybody's eggs. Everybody wants different eggs. So I'm cooking omelets, I'm cooking sunny side up eggs. And then after that is all done, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make Brett's breakfast bowl. So first I just do hash browns in the bottom with a little bit of cheese on top. Then I layer it with breakfast sausage. Then I do a little bit of gravy on top of that. And then I do the sunny side up eggs and then a little bit more cheese on top of that. And you can also do green peppers, onions, mushrooms. I just didn't have any of those things, but usually I add at least green peppers and onions to it. And this is that breakfast bowl that I keep telling you guys about. This morning, I just wanted to get some little things picked up around the house because we are not gonna be home a whole lot today. So doing your typical um, taking out the garbage, wiping down countertops, laundry, dishes, and then I always, at least once a day, I always vacuum. And so doing that, knowing you're going to be gone and coming back home to a clean house, it's so nice. And so I knew that that was gonna be kind of today, plus it is Sunday. It starts a new week for the kids starting back to school. And so it's just, it's very helpful to be able to have everything picked up. So we are doing a lake day today. Basically, Brett's parents have a lake out, um, out back of their house. It's like their own, it's, it's a long story, but it is basically kind of like their own lake back there. And so Brett's dad also has his shed that he built um, up a little ways from the lake. And so the kids, all the cousins, they always go out there, swim. He built a, like a, little water slide there's a little paddle boat out there they have a ton of fun so it's nice that they can swim and then come up if they're wet and it's not like they're coming into the house or anything um, you know making a mess and getting everything sandy so it's been so nice being able to have the kids play in the lake and then be able to run up to the shed and kind of go back and forth um, they play outside and so that is what was going to be today because our nephew will be leaving to go back to his mom's house out of state. So we wanted to get together. I have a dessert that I need to make. I wanted to get ready before I did all of that. And so that is kind of the prep for today. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of cake mix cookies. I've only made these one other time and when I made them, they were a big hit. So basically, yeah, and you can do this with any combination. You just take one cake mix box, two large eggs, half a, half a cup, half a cup, half a cup of oil and then any mix-ins that you want. So the first time when I made these, I did a chocolate cake mix with, I think I did peanut butter, chocolate, um, like peanut butter chips and so that was really really good this one that i'm making is strawberry cake mix with white chocolate chips i've seen white cake mix with m m's you could do really any combination if you google it or even pinterest it which is where i got this recipe from um, they give you a ton of different options but that is something that is you know really cheap and really easy to make if you do decide to make these, you put them in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until the edges are slightly golden. And if they look a little doughy coming out, they will be just fine, they'll be perfect.
While the cookies are in the oven, I wanted to go ahead and get some things together for going out to the lake. I just have Dalton and Day wear their swimming trunks, or swimming trunks, Daylin wears her bathing suit. I have them put their swim stuff on. And then I also just pack a change of clothes, their water shoes that I got on Amazon, and a towel. And then Brett's parents have like a little kitchen area and a little bar area, so I don't have to worry about drinks or snacks. It is perfect. You guys have to shower tonight. I also told your brother tonight I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do 9.30 bedtime or 10 bedtime. I went to bed at 1. We were last both night. went to bed yeah. at like 1.30. You guys have school on, today's Sunday, you guys have school on Wednesday. So we need to kind of, well, <laughs> Really cut back bedtimes tonight, and then I'm waking you up starting tomorrow. I'm waking you up at 6:30 a.m. because that's when you get up for school. What is this? Okay, so Tuesday, you guys have your supply drop off. Okay. So we are getting ready to go to the lake. Um, Brett likes to shower last minute, so he's in the shower. So I'm just trying to get them ready to walk out the door. And then we are going to be at Brett's parents. You just shut the shower off. We need to hurry. <laughs> We're going to be at Brett's parents um, for the rest of the evening. Come home, put everything up, have these guys shower. And then tomorrow starts, um, tomorrow's Monday. So tomorrow starts back to work for Brett. And then really getting stuff together because Dalton and Dalen start school in three days. On our way home, we decided to stop at a gas station and get some candy. They had ice cream there too. I think me, Brett, and Day all got ice cream. And one thing of candy, Dalton just got candy, but I do have to, unfortunately, have Day tone it down a little bit on the candy. I'm not sure what is aggravating her, um, like her acid reflux at the moment. So we're just trying to be cautious with everything. I got a miracle. We ended up having kind of a late lunch by the time we got out there. So whenever we got home, we were a little hungry, but it was, I was not about to cook like a full on meal for dinner. So pretty sure this is a whatever night. I'm not sure what Brett and I had. The kids are just having buttered noodles and some garlic bread. So there are many nights where it is a whatever night. Even if it's cereal, it's still something in their bellies. We don't do that a whole lot, but there are nights when it is a free for all those are actually my favorite nights, but I did have to get a lot of drinks in the fridge for Brett for the, the coming week. So I don't always remember, I feel bad when I forget, but I put some drinks in the fridge for him for the morning so that he had cold drinks. I switched Daylin sheets around and kind of got little things ready to start the week back in school. It has been kind of a weird adjustment going from this summer to them being back in school. But if your kids have started school, I hope they are enjoying their classes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next one.